guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Kenny. Please subscribe to Felice Travels to have an inside scope of my life, where I travel to, what I like, my favorite fashion trends, and also self-development and fitness. So today we have a very interesting topic. It's March 2022 so far. My goal is to always read a book a month and I'm just gonna simply talk about my favorite books and the impact they've had in my life. So I'm gonna start with the first book I read in this pile. Today I'm gonna talk about four books that I think you need to help improve your life if you find yourself in a situation I was in. Just confusion, hopeless, lost, and with no purpose. These four books that I'm about to speak to you about today help me find the purpose. And I'm just drinking some sploosh that my wife made me. Comment below if you know what movie sploosh is from. So um, lately we've been trying to diet a little healthy and we've been making smoothies for breakfast. We've been really enjoying walking and especially just working out in the gym we have that I was able to build in the basement. If anyone's interested in this recipe, it's good to detox. Let me know. First book I have for you guys, The Richest Man in Babylon. This book is amazing. Um, I read this book beginning of the year and it was able to show me the process and the journey of someone who works hard and just saves, right? This is the golden rule of the book. It just shows me the journey and the fruit of someone who saves 10% as a minimum throughout their whole lives and this book is, was awesome because it, it taught me that many times people try to look out for a journey or look for something to achieve and look for something greater without realizing that everything they need is right in front of them all they have to do is seize right all they have to do is receive it and put some aside for the years that come down the road it's a very good book about golden principles and in investing taught me how to invest my finances in the stock market and retirement so I strongly recommend this book um, as an introduction for you to learn a little bit more about money and how really wealth is acquired throughout time right so there's a big argument right now about people trying to trade or you know be these stock market gurus but I've learned um, through countless research that time in the market is better than you trying to time the market so this book will teach you that earning what you're earning right now and setting something aside and really working with what you have so it's a very inspirational book about wealth i recommend it the next book the golden principle um it unlocks the subconscious mind it helps you understand that the genius people we have in this planet the richest people we have in this planet at some point all had a dream, they all had a vision, they all had a plan that they wanted to achieve. And this book teaches you about the power in your subconscious mind, being able to activate what you believe and seeing it come to pass. This book is Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. How to conduct yourself, how to grow, what kind of mindset you need to have. And whether you believe it or not, sometimes people who are feeling down or oftentimes they're feeling like they're going through a slump or a rough patch in their lives if they just are able to read and digest the words from a book it's going to be able to change your mindset and the way you think this is a strong recommend if you haven't read think and grow rich by napoleon hill you guys have seen this in many other youtube videos or tiktoks people are always talking about this book but i understand why because the power in this book the way it's able to unleash self-confidence and just help you go to that next level that you've been looking for is quite impressive really and i and i always like to put an ear on my favorite page and i'll just read this the steps to success call for no hard labor they call for no sacrifice they do not require one to become ridiculous credulous to apply them calls for no great amount of education but the successful application of these six steps calls for sufficient imagination to enable one to see and to understand that the accumulation of money cannot be left to chance good fortune and luck. One must realize that all who have accumulated great fortunes first did a certain amount of dreaming, hoping, wishing, desiring, and planning before they acquired money. It's all about mindset. It's all about the energy that you're able to unleash and give out to your surroundings, right? There are times where you could know that 
you're feeling like it's a drowsy day or your friends are tired or you're exhausted or you find yourself yawning so much that day. It's all about just snapping out of that negativity, that tired drought and pushing your subconscious mind to activate what happens to you in your life. So sometimes you have to be that barrier who breaks out, who starts to dream, who starts to try to level up and have different goals and try to, you know, do what's not the norm. Right? To have a, a plan that's successful for you and for your mindset, but maybe all those around you don't think it's successful. They Can Grow Rich is going to teach you how to remain firm throughout that journey. The next book, I have to say, made the biggest impact out of all these books that I had to pick a favorite. It's going to be this one. It is a little hard to understand. Uh, the writing because it written many centuries ago. This book is called The Meditations of Marcus Aurelius and it's a quick read. It's only 60 pages and this book dives in about the journal of Marcus Aurelius who was a philosopher during the Roman Empire and the meditations just really talk about right now this moment right right now you watching this video um, it talks about just being present and, and many times what I learned from this book, and I'll compare it to like my terms, this book taught me that your mindset wants you to progress, right? So life is set up for you to struggle because if there is no struggle, there is no success, but for you to also get out of that struggle. So the meditations, he writes a lot in his journal about being present right now. This is an example that I have. I should go take out the garbage, right? And then you go take out the garbage. And then automatically you say, oh, I should also take out the recycling and then you take out the recycling or I should cut the grass and then you start to cut the grass and then as you take these smaller steps and these smaller initiatives like I should make a to-do list then you make a to-do list I should read the first point in my to-do list and then you do the first thing on your to-do list so automatically this book taught me that your mind wants you to progress and it teaches you the direction that your life should go and the next steps you should take to be able to complete whatever you desire so I kind of realized that sometimes we spend too much time thinking or planning or trying to envision how we want things to be or you start to think if only I had this or if only I had that you know this book really teaches you to be here now to forget about the past to not worry about the future but to just focus on what's in front of you right so what is in front of you right now that you should do right is it starting with 50 push-ups is it is it going for a walk outside around the park? Is it reading 10 pages in the morning? Is it waking up an hour earlier so you can get a smoothie in? Is it drinking more water? Is it drinking less caffeine or drinking less soda, right? Is it eating healthier? Whatever your mind is telling you to do, that book just teaches you that usually that's what you should do. And you have to make sure that it's a positive reinforcement. So that book is awesome. I recommend you guys read Meditations by Marcus Aurelius. Then this is the, the most recent book I read. Um, and I read this book while I was on vacation in Miami Beach, Florida. It was an amazing book and it was written by a guy by the name of James Clear. It's called Atomic Habits. It's an easy and proven way to build good habits and break old ones. This book really talks about those minuscule things that you're doing that aren't helping you and you don't realize it. Sometimes it's something like scrolling too much on your phone while you're about to take a shower or if it's something as simple as not putting something away when you're done using it or it could be like not preparing for the next day if you're late to work for two minutes or if you're always behind sometimes those changes could be made from not wondering about what you're gonna wear that day but instead having your clothes out in, in front of a chair the night before so you don't have to think about that in the morning so it's all about planning your life for the next step to be easier to be automatic to be fruitful and for you to not have to think about it so much but it also draws a balance. It also talks about being able to understand action, right? And planning. So a lot of times people spend their days planning or building a schedule, or they just focus on their to-do list. What offense is in your life and what defense is. Or defense is maybe filling in the things that you have to do in order to get something done or to progress. But offense, it talks about acquiring that goal. So you know, going for that walk that I said so that you can be more fit is offense. Sitting in your computer and writing down, go on a walk at four o'clock, that's defense. 
So it talks about action and how action is so important and good habits are very important for you to lead and live a successful life. Ames Clear really sums it up in a very good perspective. He talks about having to struggle, needing to be in a dark place to be able to see the light. So don't question where you are right now. Don't question why you find yourself in this situation. Just know that there's a purpose for that so that you can actually have a story, right? Imagine being born and everything was okay. So again, you know, these four books are what I recommend for 2022. If you guys haven't read them yet, please pick them up. I will have a link for all of them below on Amazon. So you could just click the link, purchase these books right away. They'll be at your doorstep in two days and just start reading 10 pages a day. These books will change your mindset. If you don't know what to do right now, if you're a little confused, just read these books. This is a good plan. This is a good stepping stone. Once you read these four books, come back to me and we'll talk because I'm sure you'll find yourself in a different level and in a different mindset. So this is a quick video of a piece of what I like to do. I like to read a lot. So just comment below any suggestions, any tips or anything for yourself to help launch yourself to another step if you're just feeling stuck right now. So drink more smoothies, drink more water, read more books, go on more walks and you'll be successful. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you haven't yet, follow me on Instagram under my name, Kenny Daniel Felice, and follow me on TikTok under Felice Travels. There's a lot more to come soon. I hope you guys are ready. I'll talk to you guys later. We out.